The more I work with Kaizen Foam, the more I love it because I learn all kinds of cool tips and techniques from people on the shop floor who are using it that they've taught me and that's what I want to show you now. Check out a couple of these. This is my drawer up in my workbench. Look how nice this is. Nothing moves around. Everything stays put. I just finished all my marking tools. All the drawer was there. Now I put in finger pulls. Look how beautiful that is. So I'm going to show you now in this series how to do finger pulls and how to do layering with the foam. Let's go to the shop floor. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is layering. You can actually glue or laminate white uh, Kaizen foam onto the bottom of the black. And the reason that's so nice is now you have a shadow board in the bottom. Marlar, our graphic designer, came up with that idea. And then the next thing I learned is Andre was messing with the foam and found out about layering, where you can actually cut one layer deeper than the next layer, and you can do that. And then we came up with a finger hole. So let's show you how to do all that. So here's our piece of foam right here. We've taken our knife, and we've traced it around the outside, of course, with our long nose marker right here. We just trace around the outside very fast, very easy. It's already been done, so you can see how that works. You get a nice line. The next thing is to cut it. So now extend your knife out and come on in here and just cut on down. You can actually just turn it right when you go around the corner. If you cut past the edge, it doesn't really matter. Just stay inside the black line is the key. It looks like I've got everything done. Now, the next trick is how to pull the foam. When you do it, put your finger in there and grab the first layer and start peeling it back. Keep your finger in there, just like this. That's the key, is you don't want to just pull it right here. You want to kind of like separate the layers with your finger, kind of like a little chisel, if you will. Okay, so you get in there and you go down just like that. And there it is, it looks pretty clean. Then you go ahead and put your knife in there and you go, oh, well, you know what? This is not sitting in there, why? because the side of this tool is shallow here and deep here. So we really want to go deeper right in this area. So watch how fast this is. Just come across there, put a line across there, and then make sure that you're deep enough on everything else here. I'll just go in there just one more time just to make sure that I got in there deep enough. And we'll create a layering effect which both looks nice and really functions well. So again, I'll go in there with my finger and I want to pull out another layer. So I just kind of start it in. Just start pulling that layer right on back, just like that. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got a layer in there. Bring my utility knife blade, and look how this fits so perfectly. So that's step one. Now we want to put a finger pull because it's hard to get that out of there. Watch how easy this is. I made a quick little tool with copper pipe, wood handle. I take my torch, I heat it up. You don't even have to get it that hot. That's the cool thing about this. Just get it a little warm. Right there, that should be good enough. Pull your knife out, and I want a finger pull right there. Just simply go like that, boom, and look how perfect those finger pulls are. It's right in there, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, we'll go ahead and put our knife back in, and now when I want to pull that out, look at those perfect finger pulls and, and layering. All very fast and easy. The next thing is drilling holes. So let's say I want to put a 2P10 there or something round. It's very easy to do. I take my drill right here and I have my two and a half inch hole cutter here. And the first time I did this, I actually just drilled right into the foam. And then the second time I did it, because we're all about continuous improvement here at FastCap, Alexi saw me do it and he says, why not just heat this a little bit? So I said, hey, why not try it? You never know, it may work. And guess what? It works awesome. So I'll turn my torch on a little bit, and I just spin that. I'm not going to heat it too much, just enough to get it warm. And the reason why I'm doing that is it burnishes the foam. And instead of the foam fraying, it kind of melts it together. So watch what happens when I do this. First of all, it drills beautiful. Look how nice that is. And I'm going to put a wood block underneath there, so when I go all the way through, Okay, so I'm all the way through. I pulled my core out, and look how perfect this is on the inside. It's burnished. When I did it without heating it, it got a little raggedy looking, but look at the great improvement we got from our shop floor, because our people are always thinking about better ways to do things. Then the last step is to go ahead and pull this tape off the back, the speed tape liner, and we can laminate our white right on the back side. And the best way to pull speed tape is to pull our knife out and catch the corner of it. You just want to come in there right on the corner, just like that. 
And when you get right underneath the corner, you should be able to pull it pretty easily. Yep, there I'm getting it. Sometimes snagging that liner can be the, the toughest part. You can see, there I've got it all off. There you go, there's one side off. And then we'll go in here and we'll snag that corner too. Just snag that underneath there just like that. Pull that back. Boy, that stuff is sticky. Then take my foam, line up my corners, and away you go. And now I've got laminated, I've got finger holes, I've got a nice drill. I've done everything in very short order. Look how fast this all went. And I'm done. Kaizen foam. It is amazing. Send us your cool ideas. We want to see all the cool ways you use it. This stuff is awesome.